Hello, Sofia Zapata. I'm from Northwest College. So today I have my assignment that I'm going to be doing today. This assignment, this video is for two setup setup trays. The two setup trays are is the pap smear and also the mold removal. And I just want to say that I'm really sad I didn't get to do these. When I had skills lab this Monday, I was able to do the vital signs and the examination prep, but I didn't do these and I'm really bummed out and I'm sad that I didn't get to do it. But it's okay because I still have the supplies and the, not equipment, but I have the supplies needed for the pap smear and the mold removal. So let's get started. For the pap smear, you are going to need gloves for the doctor and gloves for myself as well. You need the lab requisition form, the biohazard, a biohazard specimen bag, a thin prep with vaginal spatula. You're going to need a vaginal speculum, a obstetric towelette. You need a gauze, uterine forceps. Uh, you will need a gonorrhea and chlamydia test kit. You need a scope pet, a, collect a collection system kit, and you need a lubricant. You also need a patient gown for your patient and also patient drapes to go with it. Uh, drape sheets, drape sheets. You need drape sheets to go with it. And last but not least, you will need an examination light. That way your pap is easier for the doctor. Okay, so for the mole removal, you are going to need a scalpel uh, to make the incision to remove the mole. Then you're going to need a hemostat that is uh, easier to take off the mole, to keep it open and take it off. You're going to need Q-tips as well. And you're going to need saline. The saline, it is to freeze the mole. You're going to need gauze, that is to stop any of the bleeding. And also, the last thing you're going to need is an antiseptic that is to treat any areas that have been infected. And that will be all for today. Thank you for watching.